Hey everybody, in this video, we're gonna get back on course. We're back inside, new setup, trying it out, seeing, playing a few holes on the E6 Connect with the Mevo Plus. Hey everybody, Scott Hogan coming at you. We're gonna be back inside. We got a little rain here, so we're back in the studio just outside of Chicago, and we're gonna play a little bit of golf and test out our new setup. So you saw in a previous video, we set up things a little differently in here with our putting strips and just how we have things aligned. So I wanted to try that out. A couple of things I'm looking for throughout the unit is, you know, again, if I feel like the ball went somewhere, I want it to go there. And with putting, I want to have a better judge of the speed. Now we're going to do this today with another little game that we like to do to help with that. So we're gonna turn off the screen and we're gonna play this game, which for many of you, this is how you're playing if you're hitting into nets and stuff anyway. But this is a great game to just see if you feel like you have control of your unit, if you feel like you have control of the golf ball, stuff like that. I would encourage you to play this way because what happens is you hit a shot and then you watch the screen and you say, oh, you know, and you re react too quick to the ball flight that pops up. Think about what you feel like the ball did and then see if that matches up to what's on the screen. So we're gonna do that. That's how I like to test when I have a new setup because I want, again, if I feel like it went somewhere, I want it to go there. So we're gonna do that today. Again, make sure you click that subscribe button. We're gonna have more with the Mevo Plus, getting on course and seeing what we can do with the unit. Let's do it. Let's get on course right now. All right, so we're here, we're at the judge. We're gonna do a little game while we play this. This is actually a great game, and I think most of you play this way anyway. Um, you know, you, a lot of you have a setup like this where you're not gonna be able to project in front of you if you're somebody that's hitting outside or you just have a net set up at home. But I, I play this game anyway with our juniors, especially is we wanna see if you can, wanna see if you can guess where it's gonna go before you go look. So driver, that should be pretty straight. I hit it pretty good. Now one thing I wanna see, what is that driver spin number looking like? So I hit it decent, I'm not as fast right now. Let's see, ball speed, 151. That seems right for me. Launch was slightly high at 21. Spin was definitely high. Let's go back, take a look. Yeah, spin at 3,800, that's high. So that's still an issue that we see on the Mevo Plus indoors. I'm, I'm getting outside with, you know, hitting outside on outdoor mode. I'm getting pretty good results, but uh, I know some people out there, you know, if you're using different types of golf balls or something, I think you gotta test yours out, but uh, Let's go ahead, we're gonna lay up, trying to hit one, you know, 200, 210 here. Should be a little left, but it should be up there. I hit it pretty good. Yeah, a little left. Oh, is that a creek? Oh, that's the car path. Okay. Yeah, how far did that go? Yeah, 208, that seems about right. So again, I, I get pretty decent stuff you know, numbers and all that. It's just the driver for me. If I hit three wood, seems reasonable. So, just something to think about and keep our eye on. And, uh, you know, again, I have faith that they'll figure it out. You would think, because I don't play with the dots, that you would have less spin. They wouldn't see as much spin, so I'd be getting less. Should be right, I hit it pretty good though. Hit it pretty good, should be a little right. That was a pitching wedge. Yeah, had the number, had the number. Okay, so let's do this. We're gonna take a look at putting. So this is my new setup. First round I'm playing putting. You know, other than the practice putts I hit in one of our other videos. These are gonna be my first putts on the new setup. So what, I'm gonna just kind of pay attention to how it's rolling. Okay, was that way uphill? Oh yeah, it was eight inches uphill. I didn't pay attention to that. So eight inches is a lot for a 20 foot putt. 
So I had to hit that harder. All right, 355. We're going to just play it kind of safe to the right fairway. If I had more length, again, in speed, but or in, uh, you know, getting a better driver read, I could try to drive over that. But instead, that's going to be a little short and right. Wasn't my best. I'm going to guess 190. Not bad. I had pretty good. 191.6. Um, spin seems decent. 194 in, so I made a four iron hoping I hit it better than I just hit it. Um, one thing I, I'd say is if you're kind of wondering about your numbers, one thing that's really cool is if you if you watch the PGA Tour, go on the app, um, and I've been doing it on my iPad, but if you go on the app, they have this thing called Tour 3D now. Let me hit my four iron here first. Hit good, should be little right. Might actually be long of the yardage. Yeah, I think it would have been long, and it, because of the sand, it's at the yardage, but I actually hit that really good. And you can see, again, spin rates are reasonable. Like it's a 4,000 spin, you know, four iron, which is right in line with what we see at various levels so you know for me i don't put the dot on because it's right where i want it to be if you're having issues and you need that spin to go up put the dot on it how far we got but anyway back to the tour 3d if you want on all the tee shots now they are displaying ball speed and spin rates problem is you got to know what club they've hit Let's see, I'm going up high with that one. Felt pretty good. A little short though. Um, so, you know, if you're looking for your, your different spin rates, the thing I, I think is cool about doing that is, I think it's cool to see like, hey, when Tiger flared, when I was watching Tiger a lot, when he flared a driver to the right, his spin rate was like 2800, 2900, because the, the type of shot you hit will matter. If that was short, right? Still uphill, I gotta pay attention to the uphill. Oh, we got our gimme. But, you know, when he hit a flatter, you know, shot, then this happened or this happened, right? So, I think that's just something to, to look at if you're new to launch monitor numbers. I think it can be a great thing to do. And see, so seven iron here. Bolt, left, don't go in the water. Took enough plug and because I pulled it, I was able to get there. Um, but not a very good shot. Oh, let's see, five iron. 71. 24 yards. Short, that's my guess. Unless it runs out. Yeah. I hit that super clean, so it's gonna have a ton of spin. Yeah, it had 600 more RPMs of spin. You know, it was all ball and club, that's all it was. And I didn't have enough force on it for it to release, so it was just gonna be like a hit and spin. So, let's pay attention. Are we, we're uphill again. We're uphill a decent amount, eight inches. Let's see. Not, that's short. That's got to be short. Yeah. I mean, it just felt like the last couple that were short felt exactly the same. So I didn't do a good job adjusting there. So that would be where I expected it to go. 241. So I can hit three wood here. Just 
try to hit it straight ahead. 3 would be the club of choice anyway. Pretty good there. I felt good. But it tailed a little. Makes, I mean, it could be for sure. Could be the shot. That's my norm. 156 up. Uh, that's got to be a seven. Let's see. There it is. Hit that pretty good. It might be deep. Should be right at it. Yep, deep. Hit that pretty good. Pretty good. So again, you're getting a chance to just play, even though I'm not scoring like I would like to. You know, I haven't played in a while, so got to get my feels and stuff back. So this game, I mean, I feel pretty good about what's going on. I'm getting dialed in to what's happening. Little baby chip. Pretty good, I think. Maybe a little deep. Yeah, it might have been a little, I don't know. Yeah, it could have been. It wasn't that far, was it? So, probably not too shabby. Let's see. 11 footer. It's downhill, so I think that's gonna get there. Okay, that was better. That was better. Now one thing, I'm, I'm not actually paying attention to whether I'm starting it online or not. I just care about the distance right now. So that would be the next stage with the putter. 436, oh, 436 is brutal without a driver. I'm gonna have a long one in. Hitting nothing but four irons in all day on this course. That should be a little right. A little right. Hit it pretty good though. Yeah, you can see it tailing a little off to the right there. So, good distance though. Two, 192 in, it's a little down. If I was feeling 100%, I'd go six. I'm gonna go five. I'll see him right at it. Little thin and left, so it should be, I mean, shortish, but definitely left. Yeah, maybe I didn't hit it that thin, but uh, definitely where that went, that was left. What happens when you have no wrist strength in your swing? You start doing this because your body's got to make up for it. Pretty good one there, I thought. Out of the rough. Is it downhill? Okay. I'll give you one more putt. I think that's about all I've got, to be honest with you. Oh, we're on 14. That's about all I can do today. So. Let's give it one more putt. Downhill 18 footer. Let's see if I can get over there and see where it started. Yeah, a little right. Okay, not bad. So, hey, you know, not the worst. All right, so that was five holes. What is that, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. So five holes. Um, again, that's about all I can do. Getting a little sore and getting a little tough to swing it for me. So, um, you know, the prices are getting old and playing the game for 30 years. It's starting to catch up. So anyway, with that said, um, thought it did pretty good. Again, the driver's still a little bit off. Uh, driver's still a little bit off. That's probably the only thing I could really harp on and say, all right, we want that to be changed a little bit. Chips, pretty good, I thought. Um, again, haven't hit a whole lot of late. So uh, for me, feeling like, hey, they did pretty much what I thought they would do. I thought that was good. Again, 
you have to pay attention to what the slopes and stuff you're landing on and that's a little hard to see on simulation so if we landed on a down slope or something yeah that ball is going to run a lot so you got to think about that when you're playing as well but uh thought it was pretty good irons direction all of that i don't think there was a single shot where i'm like that went exactly the opposite they pretty much did exactly what i thought they would do so that's awesome and uh really liking the setup so far liking how the strip having the one foot strip in the middle that helped make the alignment a lot easier and then the putting i think it helped to have it rolling a good distance because that makes it uh feel like it's getting to the distance that i think it should so i, th I think i just need to practice that a little bit more but Pretty happy with it. So again, if you have questions, leave some comments down below. Give us a thumbs up if you like the video. And as always, subscribe. We're going to have more with the video and more. So yeah, if you like the video, leave us a comment down below. If you have any questions, leave us a comment down below. We really appreciate the support. Give us that thumbs up. And as always, click that subscribe button if you want to see more coming up with the unit and ways to use the unit to get better. Thanks, everybody, for watching. We'll catch you in the next video. Peace.